Hi guys, join me for Matt Chat as I talk to various members of the Jiu-Jitsu community. Today I talk to renowned artist, designer and blogger Seymour Yang, a.k.a. Miyakatsu. Yes. Hey guys, it's, uh, what's the date today? Uh, Thursday, something in September. Thursday, the 5th or 6th yes. of yes. September. All around the world is here at... Uh, our academy here, North 12 Academy, and I'm uh, here with Seymour Yang. Uh, we just had a great training session together, sharing knowledge, rolling around and stuff. It was really good. How you doing, man? How you feeling? Yeah, yeah, good. Thank you, David. Very, very good. Lovely to see your new place for the first time. Thank you. Beautiful basement dojo. The mats are the best thing I've ever rolled on. <laughs> I mean, you chucked me around, but I was just going, boy. <laughs> it was great. We found my tactic, bouncing mat, so yeah, I can throw you Exactly, you can practice all your techniques. <laughs> so if you want to get thrown and be a okay for David, this is the place to be <laughs> in 12. Yeah, no, I loved it, man. Thank you very, very much for your expertise today. Oh, thank you. Uh, it really helps me out. Um, so, see, yeah. well, like me, um, you're, what division would you find? Are you a master's athlete? Or I'm, I'm, I'm 50 years old, as uh, of July, okay. so nice. according, to, according to the IBJJF, I'm you're still master. master 4, but I'm on the cusp of master, master 5, four. so next year I'll be master 5. So, yeah, master 4, old man division. Nice. Uh, I'm under 60 kilos, so I've like, always, always fought super Beautiful. feather. Beautiful. Um, I mean, one of the things I'm trying to compete at black belt, maybe not very prolific, but uh, yeah. is that I skipped entirely white belt. Okay, good. Yeah. And I skipped entirely brown belt, and there are two my my regrets okay. that I didn't compete. Definitely didn't compete at brown. I should have. Um, it's kind of one of those things you kind of get a bit complacent. Yeah, I got my brown belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't need to prove myself. And, uh, I tell you, brown belts compete, okay? Because <laughs> when you're black belt and you want to compete, you suddenly get thrown in the deep end. You go, oh, there's like fifth dance. They're like <laughs> beating me up. So, well, I mean, that's it. That's one aspect there. I mean, I think people realise now, but because a lot of masters athletes are getting their you know, black belts as masters, yeah. uh, they're going straight into the deep end, right? Yeah. Fighting, I, when I, you know, when I uh, uh, got my black belt in 2010, but in 2013, when I did the World Masters, I fought uh, Nelson Montero, six degree black belt. Wow. The guy who took, one of the foremost guys who took uh, BJJ to Abu Dhabi, mm. the formation mm. of the ADCC. And I, I remember being in the bullpen, dizzy, trying to count the stripes on his belt. You know, it's like, what the hell? He's been a black belt thirty years. And it's like, you know, it's, you know, it's frightening stuff. It's, it's very frightening. It's, yeah. But you know, it, man, we can do it. Um, and um, but but listen, but in terms of your physical training, what are you doing to keep in shape? So um, my story is that up until very recently, when I was fifty, when I was about forty-eight, I realised I can't carry on. Training, hard training at Jiu Jitsu, my body was just falling apart. And I had basically spent all my life ignoring the whole strength and conditioning uh, mantra, if you okay. like. Um, okay. But there's a couple of people who consistently plow the same message yourself. Also, Simon Hayes on Simon various Hayes, yeah, he's, he, yeah. A consistent line the older you get, you need to build up muscle to protect the bones and joints. Hmm. And this is sinking in. So I hired a, a PT, yeah. Trojan. Hello. Uh, so he takes me, runs me through strength and conditioning workout. Uh, once a week and then in my own time I'll try and uh, do stuff at home nice. but it's just very simple stuff just basic lifts um, a lot of pushing and pulling yeah. on the prowler um, a lot of upper body work but we're not ignoring the, the legs yeah so a lot of squats a lot of squats um, but I have a uh, trouble with my back so it's pretty painful so I can't do traditional but um, barbell squats but mm. he always finds things for me you to don't do. need to I mean my my primary strength and conditioning coach is um, Andrew Marshall and um, he, he's um, I'm probably his worst student, but he's been training <laughs> me for a long time and I've learned so much from him. And, uh, you know, he's, he's so versatile that, you know, first of all, he would say, like, you don't need to do that. Why do you need to do this kind of Olympic lift? You're not going to do an Olympic competition. Yeah, you know, you're not going to do point. it. You know, like some people want to do deadlifts. How many people injure your back doing deadlifts with a proper deadlift for Olympic yeah. deadlift for And then they hurt their back. Use the trap. The trap yeah, part. That's what we've been and doing. And just go and sit yeah. in the middle and pull it. You're trying to build your body up, right? Not to not to break it. Indeed, yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, you know. So it's it's things like it's things like that. You have to adapt, uh, and you know, be continuous in what you do. Um, you know, uh, it's important, like you said, for for maintenance uh, of your body. And the other thing as well is um, flexibility and stretching. Right. Um, a lot of people still don't do it. Even you know. 
in the classes I teach, we're like you know, 15, 20 or 17, whatever, on a class, and we do the stretching. We do the stretching in class, but especially with white belts or blue belts, and even some higher belts, you look and they're doing the V-shaped sit. And then, and then they're like, oh, 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 I can't. Man, you, 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 you've got to stretch, right? You've got to practice a little bit at home. I always say, if you were watching TV, sit down, do a little bit of stretching. Stretch your shoulders, stretch your back. I was really bad. I didn't stretch properly for like 35 years. Even with all your <laughs> martial arts training. Yeah, right. because I was young and I was yeah. flexible and I could do this and I could do that. But you pay the price to a certain extent when you don't stretch. Yeah. That's why people who do strength training well from young, they strengthen their body in a certain way when they get old. Mm. Similarly, if you train your flexibility when you're young and you keep it up, you'll always be supple. Mm. I have a student who trains me, he's actually exactly the same age as me. And he's got a lifetime of, he's just started training Jiu Jitsu, but he's got a lifetime of Chinese martial arts. Nice. But you want to see how supple he is because of the mm. forms of the Wushu, the Tai Chi. And you look at him and the way he moves, he's, so, he's about your height, he's so agile. I look at him and I want to kick him in his leg. Yeah, you know, but I'm saying, but he's been doing that for years. So what's the you know what's the message, guys? You you've got to um, stretch, do some conditioning stuff as well, and and be smart, really. I mean, the little bit of online yoga that I took with Yoga for BJJ, yeah. I just took bits that I like doing, Absolutely. and I add that to my warm up, and yeah. it does help. It definitely does help. Yeah. Still... Do do something. I think is yeah. the key. Yeah. So uh, you got the national masters coming up. This weekend, That's right. in Hereford, yep. they've um, come. Yep. Excellent, fantastic yep. competition. Good luck with that. You, you, you won that last year, right? I think you fought that last year. Uh, I had a really good match with Mark Walder. Yes. It was. Uh, it went to referee's decision, and okay. uh, um, they gave it to Mark quite rightly. Oh, okay. okay. We were kind of locked in. I was using guard. Okay. He was trying to pass, and we were kind of locked in that. What people, if you saw the video, it's the most unmemorable. <laughs> Fight ever because, but that's the reality. People are doing these micro exchanges that's of grips. Kind of and to, in my mind, it was war, but to someone else, it's kind of like, well, you didn't do much, see? <laughs> I tried, I tried very hard, and so did my opponent. It just, it was like a nil nil. <laughs> Well, I think that's the reality of when you have two people just yeah. trying to implement their game, but they're kind of clashing. And Mark, I mean Mark, I've, I've trained with Mark as well, and he's, he's, uh, his skills are amazing. Oh, he's brilliant. He's really, a really good guy, he's a lightweight fighter, he's a really experienced guy, um, a lot to teach. And I mean, you know, for you to fight, you know, someone like him as oh, well. It was an honor, it was just it's, like a gift. It's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, absolutely. That's the, way, that's the way that I see it. And uh, um, no, it's, it, it's all good stuff. Well, well, good luck with that. This, yeah, cheers. This, yeah, this, no, that'll be good. Next week, I'll be there as well to. Come and support and do, do a few bits and pieces. Um, so guys, thanks for um, rambling, listening to us two, two old men <laughs> rambling on uh, about uh, jiu-jitsu and the stuff that we do. Guys, uh, check out uh, Seymour's various uh, websites because of his design gear and clothing. What is it? Meerkatsu. Just go to meerkatsu.com. It's my blog on there. You can buy my merch uh, or just go on Instagram, meerkatsu, and look at my fun drawings and silly photos. Uh, it's all about you know, just trying to enjoy the jiu-jitsu lifestyle. Uh, and as always, I'm, I'm grateful to uh, my sponsors to tell me fight with for all the wonderful gear they, that they, they do for me and that I use. And guys, keep it up and we'll see you again soon. Us. Us.